All right, let's get to my next guest of the evening. This is actually their second appearance on the show. They got a new album out entitled Too Young for Love. I am joined with the Dirty Delusions, at least either one person or all. Um, who's on the air with me this evening? <laughs> hey there, Kenny. This is Aaron Villia. How are you doing? I'm good, man. Thank you for being on the show, man. Appreciate you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, so this is the second time I got the at least some representation of the Dirty Delusions. Um, I enjoy y'all the last time, and I'm happy to have you back. Um, let's talk about this album, Too Young for Love, came out. First off, congratulations on the album. Um, thank you, thank you. And uh, let's let's talk about how this album got put together. This is actually a two-part question. And um, what made y'all decide to name this album Too Young for Love? Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we started uh, writing and doing a little pre-production to this record um, back in 2018. This is one we've been sitting on for a while, of course, with COVID last year. Um, you know, that kind of put a wrench in the chain a little bit. Um, we finished recording in uh, October of 2019, so we've kind of been sitting on it a little bit. Um, as far as the name, it's the title track from the record, Too Young, Too Young for Love, and uh, it's just kind of a song about toxic relationships and uh, how badly those can go. And... Um, how sometimes you can just kind of feel like uh, you're not really mature enough. You're not quite ready for a relationship. Um, not exactly sure where it came from. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kind of one of those random inspirations, I suppose. Speaking of random, um, I am indeed a Spotify addict. And this is how I heard of the album. I heard of the album through... Spotify's release radar. So it's basically nice. when you follow people and once they have new music out, they'll give you a list of music that on Friday and uh, they'll give you a list of all the people that you follow. So I did some scrolling. And I'm like, Dirty Delusions. Wait a minute. I know <laughs> these guys. I'm familiar with these guys. And I'm thinking they just released a single. No, no, it's an album. And it's like, oh, okay. And then I heard the album. Yeah. It's, it's an incredible, dope album. It is a, uh, an incredible record um, that you fellas put together. And um, I'm glad I got some album worth listening to um, for sure. And... I look forward to seeing y'all. I don't think I've seen y'all perform before. I know we are mutual friends with um, some musicians here in Lexington, Kentucky, which is where uh -huh. I currently live in. Um, so with everything seems to be getting back up and running, have you fellas been able to do some shows since um, everything is reopened? Absolutely. You know, we, we're just kind of getting into that push right now. We're getting a lot of offers and we're setting up a lot of shows ourselves. Um, we've done three so far since it's been back. Now, of course, you know, last year during the quarantine, we did some live stream events. Um, that's actually how we released this record. It was a live stream event. Um, but yeah, uh, we played our third show back at it last night at Exit Inn. Um, and let me tell you, man, the crowd that we're coming across since we've been back, it's incredible. It feels like everybody's just completely refreshed, ready to go. People are hungry for good music. So, you know, we're uh, super stoked about that. It's really nice coming back to it. Um, the attitude has just been very, very positive. Um, the energy's been great at every show. Um, but, yeah, we're just taking it step by step. We're just slowly starting to branch back out, do some regional stuff, um, and hopefully in the fall, set up a couple small tours. Awesome, man. And, you know, like you said, people are hungry indeed. Um, That's it. Especially just for y'all as musicians, just getting back to perform again in front of a crowd. 
whether it's right. mask, unmask, whatever the case may be, just that is the greatest thing for a musician is to perform in front of an audience. Now, during the live streaming, during the quarantine days, you know, it was a way to get you out there. But, you know, it, it does nothing is more satisfying for a musician than to perform in front of a crowd to hear those cheers after the song ends. And it's like, the whoops! Yeah! Absolutely. So, <laughs> exactly. It exactly. gives you it gives you musicians life. Like you know why you do what you do as a musician. You know why the dirty delusions do what they do. Um so it definitely must be very satisfying getting some shows in with everything um reopening and restrictions getting loosened again. Right. Um so I know, you know, obviously this may be a difficult um, question to answer. You know, some people have their favorite songs um, on the album. I like uh, Too Young for Love. I like Parts Unknown. I like Machines. Um, what is some of your favorite songs you like seeing the band perform? What's some of your favorites that stood out to you? Sure, man. I mean, the first one that comes up for me is I Hope It's Worth It. So that's the second track on uh, the record. Um, that one, just the way it came together was fantastic. Um, I actually wrote that song on piano and just had the uh, chord progression and uh, just a couple of you know, little melody lines here and there. I brought it to the band. We kind of transcribed it over to um, electric guitar. And everybody just kind of pitched in. We uh, wrote that entire song together. That was a group effort, um, which with us, you know, it's never been, you know, like a communist state where I'm the only one. You know, I'm the guy. It's not a dictatorship by any means. Yeah. But this one just came together very organically to where we all had our own inputs into the song and just created a song from nothing. Um, and it was a really, really great feeling. Uh, so when we released it, it was our first single. It came out in April of 2020. So right as lockdowns were kind of going into effect, and uh, we found ourselves, like a lot of other bands did, just trying to figure out how we can stay relevant when nobody can go out and see us. So what we did um, for the video, which is available on YouTube for I Hope It's Worth It, um, I just asked uh, 20 or 30 people that uh, are just kind of our core following to listen to the song and record an iPhone video or a cell phone video of them dancing or lip syncing to the song. And we just edited and made a music video based off of that. And I mean, what we got was just incredible because um, it was totally based on what people thought about the song. Like we kind of got this, this idea of like how people felt about it. Like the energy was just great for the video. And for that reason, I think it's one of my favorites. It's really special. I like videos like that i like when you know an independent artist or a band for that matter gets you know fans involved friends involved right and then uh, in a video like that and uh you know it was definitely a unique um situation given that everything has happened at that time and Right. You know, you find a way to get your fans involved, and um, they was on board for it, and uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so definitely check out the music video on YouTube. I hope it's worth it, and um, yeah. and this um, is off the album "Too Young for Love." It's available on all uh, digital music platforms, and while these artists are so happy and eager, just to get back to doing shows again, just, you know, keep that same energy, keep that same passion, um, go to these shows, buy the merch if you're able to, and even if you can't, share their um, links, share their music on your social medias, and uh, just let them know, hey, um, if you're tired of the mainstream stuff, there's some other suggestions, go listen to the Dirty Delusions, too young for love. I promise you, you're gonna like what you hear. You know, these Absolutely. are you know musicians 
you know, you know, just regular folks like you and I. And, uh, you know, they, they had got something to offer. They got something to 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 bring to the game, you know, um, to, you know, with obviously the music city of the world that is Nashville. Um, but there's more to Nashville than country music, obviously. You know, people just love music, period. Um, so whenever you get music like this that's out, um, you know, people are going to listen and people are going to um, have a good feel to it. So um, I really, in, like I said earlier, I enjoyed this album. It's uh, such an incredible album. And it's, and, um, it's, oh, very, it's very encouraging just to see my friends and music um, getting back to perform again. Because uh, I was like so many people, like watching the live streams and last year when we had nothing to do and we couldn't even get out the house, like literally. Right. Uh, so, you know, what a difference a year makes. And I just hope that, you know, we don't take this for granted, um, you know, because right. it can all be taken away and, we you know, we deal with the uncertainty. That's very scary indeed. Um so, do you guys have any? I, don't know, I think I've already asked you about the show. So, <laughs> but anyway, man, it was great uh, chatting with you, man. And thank you so much. Um, you can check them out. The Dirty is their website. Um, all those yes, social sir. media um, feeds is on there, and old music, new music, upcoming shows. You know, I definitely want to ask you. About the uh, the cover, um, of the yeah. the, uh, the album cover, I should say, it's got a um, skeleton in the front, some some background. Talk about um the album cover of Too Young for Love. So that came about. Um, uh, the Skull Graphics always been kind of uh, our logo. That's always been kind of our branding. Um, it, it's on my guitar cap. Uh, we have posters and things like that. So what we really wanted to do with this record is just make a more, we wanted a photo of the same kind of thing. We've had, you know, artist depictions of that, but we just wanted a photo. Um, I don't think uh, there was really any thought or inspiration really around like uh, why we chose that. I just kind of thought it was cool. There was an artist in town that drew that for us about five years ago now. And we've been using that illustration for covers and logos and just branding, but we wanted something uh we wanted an actual photo of that. And a good friend of mine in town, his name's Robbie Stilwell. Um, he's one of the few people in town that does uh, 1800s photography, mm -hmm. um, kin type photography. And uh, he started kind of creating a business around that. And, you know, being an independent artist, we're all about that. I feel like it's all big, one big collective of just independent, creative people um, in Nashville. And so we really wanted to support him. And uh, I brought the idea to him and we bought a skull, a, a fake skull, of course, on Amazon. And uh, we just pulled some flowers from his backyard and a flower pot, and that became the cover. <laughs> <laughs> simple. Very, very simple. And it's definitely cool <laughs> getting, you know, a fellow independent person to, to be on board for this. For some reason, I'm thinking, like, the bottom of the skull, um, that either looks like a, a spray bottle can or that looks like a cigarette and i'm thinking maybe a little more like a cigarette because a little black stuff on top of the skull yeah. um so <laughs> i don't know that's just me being random um obviously um but too young for love new album dirty delusions is out on all digital music platforms go check it out um stream it spread the word about it the Dirty Delusions is the name of the group. Um, and it's great having you yes, back sir. on the show, oh, man. Great chatting with you. Thank you so much for, for wanting to be back. And, um, you know, the only things left is for me to see the Dirty Delusions in person because I don't think we've seen each other um, in person. Absolutely. So, Hopefully soon, man. We're going to get out that way at some point. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, to my... Lexington friends out there that may have in contact with the Dirty Delusions. Um, I, um, Kentucky is literally 
reopen um, fully with no restrictions. And there's shows going on left and right. So I'm just saying, um, if you need some, you know, some mu musicians to be a part of your shows, please give the Dirty Delusions a call. I'm just saying. Yes. Um, help, help, do. help them help you. Um, you know, help them. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, man, great chatting with you, man. Could keep keep up the good music and um, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Be safe out there. Thanks for being back on. Absolutely, man. Thank you so much, Kenny. Thanks for having me. We'll talk to you next time. Yes, sir. You have a good night. All right. You as well. Thank uh, you. All right. Bye-bye.